My name is Steven and this is video number 12 in my new series called Introduction to Code Igniter. What I'll be showing you guys in this video and in this next segment of the series will be, I'll be showing you how to build a basic website. We'll do things like page linking, you know, like the basics. Uh, of course, there's a Code Igniter way to do it all though. So, um, the, th the thing about this website will be though, even though it'll look really stupid and, you know, kind of feel really plain, it will be content managed from a MySQL database, which will be really cool and interesting, and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. In this video specifically, though, we'll be dealing with uh, loading multiple views. Um, mostly setting up for that for the next video, but uh, this video is very important. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, we'll go to the CodeIgniter.com website. Uh, download CodeIgniter. We'll just click Download CodeIgniter right here. Save file. open it up. I'm just going to copy this. I'll go into my www folder in uh, in my WAMP server. And I'll just paste this here. So right click paste. And I'll just rename this this folder basic site. Okay. Next thing I want to do is open this up in my text editor. And we will get to configuring this. Um, first thing I want to do is get my mod my mod rewrite working. So I'll actually go into my old tutorials. Uh, if you don't know how to access this, um, you can just go to uh, look up the tutorial where I actually did this. It shouldn't be that many video that many tutorials ago. So I'll just copy out copy this .ht access folder or information create the same file right here pop that in basic site save it XR both those two okay now we'll go into our application config because if you remember step number two for that is getting rid of the index page information so we'll save this Next thing we'll do is we'll run this. We'll, we'll check it out, see if it's working. And sure enough, it is. So this is obviously the default controller. Why don't we set up our controllers then? We'll go to uh, our controllers. Here's the welcome controller. Why don't we create our own? So we'll just copy this over, create a new file. We'll call it site.php. So that's an awesome thing to call my controller. Rename this site. In case you're wondering, I will be going a lot, um, a lot faster in these videos. The first ones were pretty slow. Um, but these ones, ho hopefully I'll be able to speed up and keep most of you guys' attention. So, uh, so yeah. First thing I will do, now that I've set up this controller, is go to my routes and set up um, the site controller is my default controller. And just to test if this is working. Haha, <laughs> that's a fail. Sorry about that. And there we go. Our, we have changed the default controller and we're loading the index function in that. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and create our home page view. So uh, we'll go into controllers views. Why don't we load this view first before we can before we create it? So we'll go to this load view. We're gonna call this view underscore home. Same thing we did last time. Now we'll go into views, open up the welcome message, that PHP view. We're just going to copy this over, create a new, uh, no, we'll just rename it to view underscore home dot PHP. Wonderful. Um, we'll kind of do what we did last time, just delete all this stuff, delete all this styling, because it sucks, or we just won't be using it. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Okay. OK, 
Okay, now we'll check and see if this is being loaded. It. All right. Because I just changed the welcome message view. Now if I copy that, right now it's on my clipboard. Open this. Control A. Delete. Control V. Put it all back. Save that. And there we go. So now we've got a whole bunch of nothing, but we can tell that this is our view because I named the title homepage. Sweet. Um, next thing I want to do is <clears throat> we will make a nav. And within this now we'll create an unordered list and a couple list items. Let's start with here. We'll make a href. I'll show you guys how to do this later. This website, this website will have uh, three pages. Home about and contact. Next thing I'll do is create the content div. footer. Basic site.com, just some bogus all rights reserved or something like that. Because that's professional, right? Save this, take a look. Wow, that is an awesome website. Um, I think for this video, we're going to leave it at that and do some styling in the next video. And then I'll show you the multiple page views. Thanks for watching.